All right, shallow warm. Go by the name of. Uh, I think it's a sit down. <laughs> God, God. Uh, shallow warm with the Hebrew Israelites coming out here week in, week out to prophesy the downfall of your beloved America and let your Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans know that they're the true children of Israel according to the Bible. Uh, and uh, the, let you know that the Most High, the name of the Most High, is Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, which is also the name of the Son. Uh, with that being said, we're going to say, call the Lord to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Double honest our apostles slash elders, which are GMS, which some niggas find that hard to do. Uh, and bless the salutation unto you, brothers out there, teaching truth and sincerity, you know. And we ain't gonna deal with that. I mean, that's a different kind of worm. Niggas don't deserve attention, so we gonna get straight into the prophecies because America is, is, is at the brink of being destroyed. No matter how you, you crack us or you so-called white people feel uh, what we're doing and you, yeah, you feel some type of way, it don't matter because the Most High's way, uh, uh, prophecies will come to pass. The scripture, as the scriptures have said, okay? Um, with um, both Isaiah, you know what I'm saying? The most high words shall not go void, you know. <clears throat> this is Isaiah chapter 55 and uh, in verse 11. It says, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void. Yes, yeah, so shall the word of the Lord be out of his mouth. It shall not come back to him void, meaning void, it, it, it means empty, okay? So whatever the Most High says is going to come to pass. You know, if I sit here and ask a lot of, especially you Hispanics, since y'all are down here today, a lot of y'all are Catholics or, or go to church, and y'all read about the Lord's second coming, but here it is, you worshiping a, a, a white Jesus, a Caesar Borgia, okay? And that's not according to the scriptures, man. All right? Y'all here partying, um, doing all kind of, just being carnal, man. As well as you, you uh, as well as Judah, man. Okay? It says, but it shall, it shall accomplish that which I please. And it's, but it shall accomplish that which he please. What is pleasing to the Lord? Okay, the destruction of, of Babylon, man, which is also known as America according to the Bible. Okay, that's been prophesied just like the, uh, it's been spoken just like the uh, creation of this world was spoken in, um, in, the, in the scriptures, man. Let there be light, things like that. So when the Lord said that uh, the so-called white man is going to go down, then that, that's already set in stone, man. There's no turning that upside down or changing that. When the Lord said he ain't dealing with all Israel and only elect shall be saved, then that's written in stone. There's no changing that. You know, the problem is with Jake and Esau, they, they took on the spirit of Esau thinking if they don't like it, then it, then they could find an excuse to make it not true, such as the rape doctrine, um, such as uh, the, the uh, just dealing with uh, other nations. You know what I'm saying? They don't like it, so they make it, they make it not true, man, or they, or they insinuate that it's not true. When the scriptures tell you that it, it means otherwise, okay? And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Yeah, it shall prosper, meaning if the Most High said that he's going he gonna, to um, destroy Babylon, which is America, by thermonuclear missiles, it's going to prosper. It's going to happen in its fruition. He ain't going to halfway destroy it. It ain't going to be like Independence Day where they, you know, half the town destroyed or whatever. No, it's going to be, and it's, it's going to prosper. It's going to increase. It's going to be in fruition, okay? All right, let's get that Thessalonians. <clears throat> Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 1. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord, Yahweh HaMashiach, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, as the day of Hamashiach is at hand. Yeah, so basically, you're not supposed to be shaken by the word of the Lord when you read it. Another thing is, you should not be shaken by the uh, the epistles of the apostles that are, are in this world today, that walk this earth today, which is, you know, from Elder to Hall and down. You know, when they say certain things, you shouldn't be shaken or moved, which there's certain brothers that get shaken and moved, okay, because they can't, they can't stand the heat. 
And as you know, they say when you can't take a heat, take get, get out the kitchen, man. You know? Go ahead. <clears throat> Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Yeah, that man of sin be revealed. It's talking about the so-called white man, okay? And the time he was revealed is mainly during the time of, of Christ, during the Roman Empire. Okay? And it says, uh, what did it say after that? Uh, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Yeah, the son of perdition, which means destruction, man. Okay? So, basically, it's all about white man. The so called white man is a very destructive uh, uh, race of people, man. Okay? Some might, some might argue, or want to put up an argument because they want to get in their feelings. But at the end of the day, that's fact, man. That's historical fact. Okay? Here it is. They, they, they're trying to make, make some type of controversy between them and Yemen right now. Behind oil, man. Okay? But then let them tell it. They're not destructive at all, man. They're looking for peace on the world. Okay? Go ahead. <clears throat> who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called God... So who opposed it? The so-called white man who came up with being atheists and uh, uh, agnostics and all that, man, non-believers type of thing, man. It is the so-called white man. Okay? Our people are picking up on it because they learned the way of the heathen. Okay? But as, as the scriptures say, he opposes all that call is, itself God, man. That's why I take, that's why I took uh, uh, the Bible out of the schools and... and uh, in, in different elements of, of society, man, the courthouse, things like that, because they exalted them, themselves, and really not exalted, they opposed themselves against the Most High, man, because they think they're the Most High. Okay. Go ahead. <clears throat> Who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worship, so that he, as the Most High, sitteth in the temple of the Most High. Show himself that he is the most high. Yep, and uh, one thing he did is show himself that he's the most high is paint that the image of the false or the false um paint, paint a false image of the Messiah. Okay? They painted this. They showed themselves as they were God. And they do it in various other ways. Okay? Through abortion and, 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 and the all the law statutes that they uh publish. You know? Yeah, ultimately the RFID chip is the, yep, yeah, that's the ultimate goal, it, it, it's to basically control the world, control the people in the world, okay? Go ahead. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things, and now you know what withhold it, that he might be revealed in his time. Yep. The, he might be revealed in his time, so these, these are the times, that's why you, you to two thirds that can't see that the so called white man's devil will be destroyed because the most high through the spirit he says word won't go back void. And he so therefore he said he will reveal Satan or the so called white man or the devil in his time. Okay? And he's doing that right now, man. Okay? Go ahead. For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. That mystery of iniquity. That's why he said it, it shall be, he shall be revealed, the son of perdition. And the mystery of iniquity is the same person, okay? So therefore, when he said the mystery of iniquity already worked, he's saying basically that son of perdition is already doing this thing, okay? So read that again. Come on, come on. Uh, want to go up one verse? Yeah, okay, come on. Uh, Second Thessalonians 2 and 6. And now you know what withhold it, that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who now let it, will let until he be taken out of the way. Yeah, so who is that that let him, that will let? That's talking about the most high, man. At the end of the day, you gotta, you know, you gotta wait upon the most high. You can't sit here and, 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 and wanna treat the so-called white man a certain way because you're you're tired of this shit. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go with the uh the, the flow of the most high, man. So that means that you gotta be in the, in the same spirit. You know, uh, basically, if, the, if it's not the time of Esau's destruction, then that means you just be cool, like actually think he's a cool guy, 
No, he's he's wicked. It's just not his time, man. You know, it, it reminds me of how the uh, uh, the the uh, debate going with, with with Trump and Hillary. You know, and, and that shit that they brought out uh, uh, against Trump. You know, you could kind of see that 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 bitch had that in the bag the whole rip, man. You know, she didn't think Trump was cool. She didn't think Trump was beating her. She had a she had a Trump card. You know, she brought out that that uh, sexual assault thing. But you can see on her face, like, man, you this this last week I got something for that ass. You can see it on her face, man. I was like, man, it's, you know, it's basically a WWE match. But just looking at it, like, man, you know, if this if this some shit that's real, then why is she so cool with just getting tore up like this, man? You know, same on the other end. But that. Hey, lo and behold, that's what happened, man. You know, because she had that trump card. But we got the trump card, which is the most high in the chariots, man. So when Esau sit there and tell us that we ain't nothing or we ain't the Israelites or, or any other derogatory thing, then, then you're supposed to sit there with that same face, man. Because you know at the end of the day, the most high going to destroy uh, you, you uh, Americans and the people that's and the, uh, America itself, man. Because America itself is a very wicked society, man. Okay? All you heathens, y'all like to come into this land and, 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 and basically uh, uh, drain it of its milk, you know, or uh, eat upon its delicacies. But guess what? You over here, you going, you just coming over here for your destruction, man. Okay? The most I say, he, he gathered the nations to their destruction, man. And that's why all y'all are flocking to America, man. Okay? <clears throat> and then shall that wicked be revealed whom the most high shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming yep the most high is going to destroy with the brightness of his coming can you give me that in Acts talking about the brightness of his coming the second time he come you know hey y'all like y'all like Latinos right yeah y'all know y'all Israelites according to the Bible man you know whether y'all believe it or not you know, that, that's, you know, here it is, that's our people though. We're giving our white Jesus posters, they're going to be here. Yeah. Just like I said, you walking in the park though, man. This ain't no time to walk in the park. Like that, that lackadaisical spirit, man. You know, you chilling and shit. You know? Not, not if you ain't doing nothing. You know? Because, hey, we, we do, we chill, man. We do, we do a, a, a lot of relaxing things that uh, other Jake do, man, but you gotta do the work first, man. Like they say, you, you work hard, but you you know, we don't play hard, we just, we work hard and we relax when it's, when we, when we have that opportunity, man. You know? Go ahead. This is the book of Acts, chapter one. Uh, the book of Acts, chapter one, verse nine. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly towards heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yehoshai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him, seen him go into heaven. Yeah, so the same way he left is the same way he's going to come back. And it's going to be through those chariots, man. You know the scripture, what is that, 21 in Psalms? When it says he maketh the clouds his chariot, man. You know, I think it's like 14 or something like that. Is it 4? One over 4. Okay. So the same way the Lord left, the same way the Lord's going to come back, man. Okay. And then while all this is going on, like I said, the bulk of our people ain't nothing wrong with chilling, but y'all, y'all chill, and y'all go work for the so-called white man. Y'all don't invest, y'all don't invest in, in the, um, in your salvation, man. Okay. Faith without works is dead. Being alone and going to church is, is not works. Okay, that's a lazy microwave way of trying to achieve salvation. Okay. Go ahead. The book of Psalms 104, verse 3. Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters. Who yeah, the, the waters is talking about the skies, not the actual underground, man. A, a, a water, actual water. Okay, because the word uh, Shemayim, it means waters. 
which in the words of Mayans in Hebrew.